Hi, this is Chad Brewer, Cotton Development Specialist for Phytogen Cottonseed. Coming to you today from Sykeston, Missouri, in a strip trial that we have established up here. And right now we're looking at Phytogen 330, W3FE. And I'm inspecting some of the plant stand establishment plots that I've put out in this strip trial. Um, in between the, the orange flags, I've basically thinned an existing stand down to a specific seed, uh, plant stand rate or plant populations. This uh, is our low rate of about 12,000 plants per acre. So it's interesting to watch the cotton respond to the different uh, plant populations. Um, first thing to notice is that in, in between these two flags where we have the 12,000 plants per acre, the cotton is shorter than outside the flags where it has the standard seeding rate for this grower of about 47 to 48,000. Um, also, we see the plants respond to seeding rate. Um, here is a typical plant from the 48,000. Um, he's planted these in four plant hills. So you can see, you know, the inside plant is a little bit crowded. Um, few po first positions, few first and second position uh, fruiting structures. Um, got some squares up higher in the plant. So this uh, crowding these plants pushes the fruit load up a little bit higher in the plant. Already seeing that here at this uh, pre-bloom stage. So take a look at some of these plants at the lower seeding rates and you'll see that they obviously can bush out, um, fill in the row middles, even at this extremely low seeding rate. And um, the plants are fruiting much lower than those in the middle of the hills. So while I wouldn't recommend a seeding rate this low because it's difficult to get stand establishment when you're only planting 12, 13,000 seed, it is evident to me that we can keep much lower plant stands from in a replant scenario than what we would typically like to see. So we'll, we're going to be watching these uh, further through the season. And if there's any questions, you guys give me a call.